Hi, my name is Kelby Shelton, a product manager with Splunk Store. In a previous video, we looked at how to implement a pre-built workflow for identifier reputation analysis, a technique from MITRE DEFEND. Now, let's build on that knowledge further and look how you can incorporate a helper playbook into a custom workflow. In this example, we already have a configured VirusTotal v3 connector. Now let's pull in one of the associated pre-built helper playbooks I referred to. We do that by clicking on Associated Playbooks and selecting VirusTotal v3 Identifier Reputation Analysis. Let's get a feel first for what this playbook does. By clicking on the Start block, we can see that it accepts a URL, file, IP, and domain. By clicking on the end block, we can see that it produces an observable as well as a markdown report. Each block is then in turn documented and we can adjust the logic if we want to customize the normalization process that occurs by default. Let's go ahead and save this playbook into local and build our own logic on top of it. Before we begin building our playbook, let's return to our events screen and choose an event with the type of data that we expect this playbook to operate on. Here we have a phishing submission that has been ingested by Splunk Soar. In the Artifacts tab of the event, notice a URL artifact with a value in the Request URL field. Armed with that knowledge, we'll return to our playbook's inventory and start building a new playbook that'll operate on this data. In the playbook editor, we'll create a new playbook of type automation. Let's give it a useful name, adjust permissions, and begin describing what it should do. We'll drag a playbook block on the canvas and call our virus total playbook from earlier. In the input section, we'll select URL and put a tokenized version of the field we just looked at. SOAR calls these data paths. Now it's useful to stop and periodically test to ensure that we have the desired behavior. We'll go ahead and do this now. Let's save this playbook with a commit message for our version control system, and then test it against our event from earlier. You can see it's already done, and we can look at the results in our activity panel within the event. Here you can see the inputs and outputs of our test run. Notice the reputation data and the score in the output section. For this demonstration, we want to access these data paths for the reputation score and block URLs with a reputation greater than or equal to 8. Returning to our playbook, we'll show just how easy it is to do that workflow. We'll connect our playbook node to a filter block, and in the data pass picker, we'll reference the score data variable. Then for our condition, as mentioned, we want to do greater than or equal to. And then the number on the right hand side of the equation is going to be the number eight. Next, we'll do something with these high score filtered URLs. We can drag an arrow from our filter block and then select the action block. We'll pick from a pre-configured technology on this SOAR instance, in this case Zscaler, and then pick Block URL. For the inputs, we select from our filtered data set and load the value data path. And that's it! We've built our own custom logic on top of a pre-built helper playbook that normalized reputation scores from VirusTotal. We'll give it a test and return to our incident one last time to ensure it's working. Notice in our activity page, our playbook executed, ran the virus total reputation, and then blocked the URL.
Finally, let's return to our playbooks listing and check out more playbooks we can use in our custom automation flows. If you'd like to check out more examples of playbooks that you can use, you can turn to research.splunk.com playbooks to explore these and more. Now get automating.